Hey everybody, welcome back to more CK2. First thing is, someone had a really good idea. Uh, they said, you know, like, if you've got endless slow fever here, never-ending misery and disease, why don't you just move? Oh, look at that. It's up here, too. <laughs> that actually, well, that's kind of funny. But yeah, uh, and I was thinking, like, yeah, that's, that's a good idea. But uh, I realized I don't actually own any of these. So I, I can't do that. We'd have to take something over first, which is the plan, right? Um, we're going to be doing that soon, but I can't actually move the capital right now, which is too bad, because that'd be great, just to get the fuck out. Although, actually, I guess I don't need to move it here. I could just move it, you know, somewhere else. What part of my... The problem is, I think after you move it, uh, well, I don't own this either. Right, yeah, what do I own? That's, that's question number one. I own this. Does that have it? Yes. Okay. Um, I own that. Uh, that's like it. Yeah. Okay, so I could... Wait, was there another one there? No. It's Philadelphia. Wait. Tidewater. Okay, yeah. I could move here, but it's it's bad. Well, it's not that bad, but it's it's worse tech-wise at the very least. Um, so yeah, I don't know about that. I I don't know about that. Yeah, because I don't have anything else. Do I? Compet Compeche? That's that one. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, I think these are all. All right here. Yeah, because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's how many I have. So yeah, I've only got actually one province that's not on Cuba. And it's not very good. And how often can you change your capital? Well, it's not peacetime, so I can't change it right now anyway. I didn't even think of that. Alright, well, we'll get back to that. Once it's peacetime, maybe I'll look again. Um, let's finish off this last rebellion. Uh... Hillary. Just another... An orphan. Oh, I see. Um, be gone, vile child. I don't understand why you're hanging around me. Why I got set as your teacher. But please leave. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we need another commander here. Even though we have three. One of them just is deciding not to come to work today. Oh, you're pretty good. There we go. And we'll assign you to... And you're not very good, so we'll, we'll hold off. But yeah, let's... 17 guy. 13, 13. Alright. Get on the boats. And where were they again? I forgot we don't own this. They're like over here? Yeah. Should have enough troops to do this. Shouldn't be a problem. Um, we'll see. What's... What are we getting sieged? Oh, these fucking... Uh, Whatever they're called. Um, raiders. I'm going to set these guys down. Do we have any other army standing around? Yeah. I'm not going to bother with that. Yeah, the slow fever is definitely going to be a problem. I guess... Ah, that is... Well, okay. I can't I can't move it yet until, until we're out of... At, until we're at peace. So I will wait. But I'm really not sure if I want to... Move it or not. Is this actually connected to anything? Uh, it's... No, it doesn't seem so. Because it would normally show like a little... Uh... Or does it show it? I guess it only shows it like river crossings, right? Like if I go over here... There's a river crossing. Yeah. But there's no lines or anything. Yeah, these these are all disconnected. Yeah. Alright. Um, yeah, I guess we're doing a naval landing and hoping for the best. It's, this is even more close than the last one, so it, uh, it's a little concerning. Oh, it's very... Con okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. I captured the guy. His army's all dead. I won. Perfect. Americanist Pilgrimage. Yeah, I think it's probably about time I did that. 
Vassalize the men in black. I have to be the president. Uh, yeah, that's... I don't think that's going to happen. Because I'm guessing we still got, uh... Yeah, the great Lyle. Um... Humble, proud, shy, paranoid. Proud would be nice, I guess. I probably already have it, though. Alright. Uh, yeah, time to put all these away... And then get ready to declare war, I guess, on... Oh, that went down. Oh, because it's a regency, right. Uh, do we want to wait for the civil war to resolve itself? Uh, it looks like this guy's going to win, so I don't know if it really matters if we wait or not. What would be the next thing we take, actually? This is a good question. What do we want to take from them? Maybe Gotham? Maybe a war for Gotham? Let's, let's see what we can declare. Um, Dead War. Hmm. Boston, Champlain, Connecticut. Oh, yeah, so it's... Oh, wait, yeah. Invasion of Gotham. So I could take that big... It's not of the true faith, which... Yeah. So I could take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And that's... We do need Gotham. Or Hudsonia. Not... Yeah... I think it makes sense to declare for Gotham here. We also want Columbia over here, though. But unfortunately, it's split up between all these guys. Um, Boston, Manhattan, no. Delmarva we could take. That's only two provinces. Yeah, that's kind of... Kind of shit. New York, Philadelphia. Yeah, one province. One province, one province. Yeah, I don't think so. Then we got all these du jour. Chop tank holdings, du jour. Yeah, I think invasion of Hudsonia would be the thing to do. Which the question is, do we want to do that right now? I guess the answer is yes. I mean, he's got like no troops and we've got... Not full capacity, but good. We could always hire... Oh no, we couldn't hire these. New Maryland. Oh, yeah. How's that war going, by the way? Against Chiapas. Uh, yeah, you're winning. That makes sense. Because, uh... No, he's got more troops now than he did. Still not enough. Hmm. Yeah, but okay. Uh, I think we do want to declare it now. Even with our own troops, we have more than these these rebellion. Or no, not the, the rebellion, than these guys. Although that's an interesting idea. Hmm. I could declare against the rebellion, take something from them, probably end up smashing their army in the process, which would make them fall back underneath the redcoats, so then I could go to, you know, do some more substantial wars with the redcoats. Although I guess... This war for Gotham wouldn't be affected because the Redcoats have all of all of Gotham that I'd be able to take anyway. Right? Yeah. So... Uh, but yeah, I could go to war with the... Here we... Yeah. Oh, wait. I can't do an invasion? Oh. I want to do an invasion for all of Colombia here. I could do an invasion. I could do a holy war for Maryland. Three provinces, but three that I I need, or Delmarva two, or this one here. Yeah, I mean I need all of those. Well, not that one, but yeah, I need these. I need these. Huh. It's a possibility. It doesn't seem like it's a very smart one though. It seems like I should just take this huge chunk of the redcoats while they're weak and then these this revolt is probably just going to be a problem later that I'll have to deal with because they're a little bit stronger but I don't know I don't know that's an interesting could we beat him I think we could maybe let's just let's just build up a little bit and then I think I'll actually go to the war with the with the rebels um Boston oh yeah 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 Um, here's some money. 
what stats do I have and what do I not have? I don't have diligent. Well, there we go. Didn't work. All right. Yeah, actually, let's just finish this pilgrimage because we want to do that anyway. We have a regency right now, so uh, yeah, let's finish this. And then we'll, we'll, we'll probably declare war. Here's another gift. It's a good thing we have a lot of money. Um, yeah, here. Did we get anything now? Did we get it? No. Okay, try again. Let's just make a formal request, I guess, and then... Did we get... What did we get there? Trusting? Uh. Uh, yeah. Do that again. Diligent, please. Still nothing. Alright. Kind of, kind of a waste of time here. I was hoping for some actual good traits. I think this is our last chance here. Oh, the old Dominion owns this one. Can I gain Zealous? That'd be good. No. Can I gain Diligent? No. I think I got an extra learning there, though. Uh, Civil War. Yeah, I don't care. Okay. Yeah, that's being torn apart. Oh, shit. <laughs> Okay, uh, wait, wait. If we want to change our capital, we need to do it right now while we're not at war. Also, we got tech, which we won't have if we change our capital. Which is another reason not to do it. You know, the stuff we're going to be taking over, how good is it? Like if we're declaring war, what was it, for Maryland? Yeah, so these three provinces, uh, that one's... Okay, that one's pretty good. The tech's pretty good, not amazing, and that one's not very good. So Baltimore would be an all right choice for a capital, so maybe let's do that. 13, 18, 13, I mean, what does that compare to this? Yeah, it's quite a bit better, and it makes more money. Um, I think that makes sense. So we'll do a holy war here. Although I bet if we made took Gotham, there'd be something better. Yeah, like that. Ooh. Brooklyn. Although the tech's not amazing, and that's because they're filthy pagans. That one's not bad. That, oh man. Oh man. Manhattan. That is, uh. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Oh, and then we got these up here, which are good too, but not as good. Maybe what we do. Yeah, okay, let's take Maryland first, but not move our capital quite then. Then we'll declare war on the uh, actual Redcoats, who should be, you know, still pretty weak. And then we'll take Gotham. Then we'll move our capital, because we'll have some just amazing land up here. So for now, we'll keep this, um, which means we should, I guess, get something here. Um... Well, it only really matters if we want to build stuff. These provinces are so good, I wish we didn't have to leave them, but, but this disease is just going to tear it apart forever. Um, but, you know, hypothetically, let's say it goes away, right? What do we need? Castle infrastructure, six. Could we get that? Improve keep, six. We can't get that. Is there anything else that we want to... No? Well, I guess we'll, we'll build towards that, right? Um, yeah, I guess we're accepting this. We're not going to do anything, though. Patriotism is over. Okay. Regency is over. Okay. Um, because of the money, I'm not... Or because of the war, I'm not money lending anymore. And, yeah, I guess it's... No, that's the Virginia Revolt. This guy has 10,000 troops. We are up to 13,000. Almost 14,000. We could also hire mercenaries if we need to because we're making some sweet dosh. So I think it's time. Let's take Maryland. I wonder if nearby old Dilemic rulers might join. Now, he's old Dilemic, but they're at war with each other. I don't think there's any way they could possibly join, right? That just wouldn't make any sense. You don't join the person you're at war with. So I, so I think we're fine there. Um, yeah, let's 
Holy War from Maryland. They've got 10,000 troops. We can call in the Old Dominion. Who's got another 3,000. I mean, they are busy here. I guess we could help them out with that. Or hopefully they'll just ignore it. Send their troops over here. We finish our war. And then just say, oh, sorry. Fuck you. And, uh, yeah, that, that would work. So let's get all of our troops up. All right. And now, yeah, time for a lot of uh, a lot of boats and moving stuff around. Do we want to get mercenaries now? Um, how much money will we be making with all of our stuff raised up? We don't know yet. Okay, well, let's hold off a little bit. Find out how much money we'll actually be losing. Everybody move there. Move here. Um, you start to move there. Uh, get here, and yeah, I guess we'll get these guys on boats. Start them off. What does it see? Yeah, I'm I'm remembering. Yeah, I wish it didn't take so long to get to do this. Although apparently on the new uh, the new DLC they're coming out with, they're adding rally points like you know some of the other games have. You know about fucking time, but. It's nice. It'll be nice when it happens. The thing is, though, it, I, they didn't show anything, as far as I know, about rally points with, like, boats and stuff. So it might only matter in land. And you don't really need it on the land, because on the land, I mean, it's just drag over, click, now you've rallied, right? Like, what? It's, it's not really that important. But if we could get it with boats, that'd be pretty great. I don't think it will. I don't think it'll happen. Also, that new DLC looks kind of dumb. I, it, it looks like extremely minor. Like if they if they charge like three dollars for it or something, maybe it'll be worth picking up. But like, I remember hearing about it, and it was they were saying like they're adding China, and it's like, oh, that could be interesting. You know, kind of unnecessary uh, because you know no one plays India. Um, you know, they added all that, and it was like for nothing but that's because india just isn't very interesting like no one cares it's kind of like like south america down here it's like eh, maybe if i lived in south america or something but i don't i don't give a shit about any of this and that's the same thing with like india and like the east in ck2 it's it's like i don't i don't care but uh China's a little more interesting, so I could see it actually being used. But then it turns out they're not adding China. They're adding China as a as like something that happens off screen. Who? Why? Why would you do? Why? I don't get it. Why would you add off screen China? And it's supposed to you know they're talking about all these influences it'll have on the game. But like what they showed in the video. Or because I saw like a highlight of the stream because the stream was just too long for what little information they gave. I mean, I'm not gonna watch all that. Uh, it was like, who the fuck cares? This is like the most minor shit. Like, China, you can have China invade people. It's like, okay, I guess that's kind of interesting. But uh, my wife has some disease, the flu. Yeah, whatever. But you know, like. Okay, and that's the whole DLC, is like, off-screen China. So it's like, it's one of the DLCs that I would probably just not get, except then they added, like, these good, like, quality of life stuff, or not quality, of, but, like, minor things that actually sound, you know, useful, and they put them behind a paywall instead of making them free. Like, uh, apparently they're, new, they're adding new Cassus Bellies, which is like, okay, cool. Because they're talking about, like, uh, it can get kind of boring, when you're a Christian country and you can't really invade anything because you're a Christian country and so there's a lot of waiting around, so they're gonna add some more Cassus Bellies. They're situational, so it doesn't like break the game, but it can give you some options in certain situations. It's like, oh yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, you gotta buy the DLC, right? Even though it has nothing to do with China, right? Uh, you gotta buy the DLC because they need to make their money and uh, you probably wouldn't be interested in the DLC if it was just China because it doesn't actually add China. Hmm. Your son Barkley comes to your study one evening. He appears quite agitated, pacing the room back and forth for a full minute before speaking. Father, I beg of you, please let me leave the keep. Please, you must! 
You demand to know his reason, but he refuses to tell you the specifics, only that it is a matter of life and death. If you say so, my son, I trust your judgment. What about your poor father? If you leave, I can't let you back in. Or I can't risk your life, Barkley. I'm sorry, but no. Oh. Um. So I can let him out. In which case, I guess he can come back in. Which means he might get the disease, come back in, and spread it to me. The thing is, that doesn't really matter. I don't really care if I get the disease again as much as I care about if he gets the disease because I need him to inherit so that his strong son can inherit. That's pretty important. Also, I think he's better than any of his brothers. Uh, well, not necessarily, but the fact that he's the father of a strong kid means he's better than his brothers. I mean, that's just that. Um, so I, I definitely don't want to just send him out and expel him. Um, if I did want to let him out, I'd want him to come back. But I, I don't think I want him to leave. He says it's life and death. Ah, shit. I don't know, I don't know what he means by that. Why don't you tell me, Barkley? No, I, I, I can't let you risk your life, Barkley. Barkley was absent from supper, so he decided to visit his chambers to make sure he's wet. Oh, no. You listen a few times, and when nothing happens, you open the door. The room is empty, but Barkley's left a note behind. Apparently, he disobeyed you and sneaked out of... Sneaked out? Isn't it snuck out? Sneaked out of the keep. Why won't that filthy clown ever listen? Filthy clown. Oh, Barkley. Please don't die. Oh, good. You walk past your son Barkley's room and you hear a familiar laugh as he returned without visiting you. Angrily, you knock on the door and the laughter stops, but the door remains shut. You pull it open only to see a half-naked Barkley hurriedly getting dressed alongside a strange woman. Susan. What is the meaning of this? What were you thinking of the... Uh... Susan will get kicked out. Barkley will hate me. Um... They both have to leave, or I saw nothing. Let us stay in... Um, honestly? Honestly? I saw nothing. I, <laughs> I don't care. Also, you're doing well, Barkley. I mean, okay. Should you be cheating on your wife? No. Because uh, she's, got, she's got good genes. But this one's got acceptable genes. So at least you were... I see your thinking, but I hope it's clear now that strong is better than attractive, but I, at least you have some sense, even if you're doing something very dumb. I'm just gonna, okay, fine. You've already got one kid. That's all that really matters. I'm not, just, just, I don't want to know about it, you know, just, just keep doing what you're doing, whatever. Although you probably, if you have a bastard, maybe not, well, you know, no. Yeah, no, keep going, because then he, you might have a bastard with that kid, with, uh, kid, <laughs> you might have a bastard with that girl, then you can legitimize the girl, the, I mean the kid, ah, oh, jeez, if you, ha okay, if you have a son with that girl, you could legitimize the son, hopefully that son will be attractive, and then you have a nice backup, you know, not strong, because your wife's the one that has the strong trait, that, that's not going to be passed down, but you might get attractive in there, which is a good backup, and you don't have a backup right now. So that's 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 reasonable. I'm going to assume that's what you were thinking, even though it makes no sense, because it would make much more sense just to sleep with your wife and get another strong one, but okay, whatever. I'll, I, I, fine. For some reason, I guess I didn't click all the way around with that one. Um, right, yeah, there's 8,000. Okay, we gotta move these 2,000 over here. And then that'll be over 10,000. I think that's all of them, except up here. No, no. Missing these. Okay, yeah, I think we're definitely gonna have enough to, to kill these guys. Okay, I missed that again. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, this shouldn't be a problem, I don't think. Um. 
I hope none of these get attacked. Maybe let's, uh, eh, I don't know. How many troops you have? Yeah, almost 11 now, but none of these are actually you. So, I guess we can... Yeah, I guess that's not a, a big deal. Let's, let's meet up there. No, but don't go that way. Don't. There you go. And, yeah, we don't need boats here. Arrange betrothal. King of Florida. Is that the, is that the one who's going to inherit? No. But it's the second one. All right. All right, that's fine. We'll take that one, I guess. It has the possibility of messing up their family. So, that's cool. We'll do that. Um, okay, we've got all the troops here. They're taking attrition. <laughs> uh, we don't need... Well, let's split these up. We need, like... Uh, 109, 120, 126 will do it. Or 125, I guess, somehow. Yeah, yeah, this will, this should work just fine. We might not even have to go up and, like, fight their troops. It seems like they're busy somewhere up here, I guess. Or up there, or somewhere. I inherited some barony from this small uh, child <laughs> who's quick. But not quick enough. What did he die of? Thrax. What is... Th oh, the Red Death. Oh. 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 Oh, shit! That... Oh, man, that spread... Fast. Oh, wow. Um... Alright. Okay. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna give this away. Uh... To a very unlucky man. Um, good luck with that. Man, that is... That... It's like been like a year or something, hasn't it? Like, if even. Hmm. I'm hoping my theory about slow fever is just gonna, you know... It's just gonna protect us from Red Death. I hope that's right. Because that'd be great. Um, this guy is close friends with me now? All right. Okay. Uh, okay. Boats made it here. All these troops. Let's start sieging down what we need, which is up here. Severn Peasant Revolt. Who's at war with... Uh, well, they're hostile towards everyone. But it's a Thelemic. Uh... Whatever. I guess we'll smash them. I mean, they're in the way. Um, it'd be nice if you met up here. If you if you joined up. Yes, attach, please. So that we can ignore your war and get mine finished. Uh, somebody died. I like that everybody still loves me. That's pretty great. Um, I don't ever really do anything with my Secretary of State, so I'm just going to appoint you. And you can, uh, I don't know, so dissent? No, no, we don't need to do that. You can, uh, prove relations with my one king, which is down here. Yeah, that sounds good. Make sure he still likes us. I mean, I think he loves us, so it's not really, like, a concern. Yeah, but I don't have anything else for him to do, so... Let's go. You gonna meet up? You gonna meet up? Wait, 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 what'd that say? Cannot currently assist you as they are busy with the Virginian Civil War to increase council power. Oh. Well, you're winning. So. Shouldn't last too much longer. Hurricane near first coast. Eh, unaffected. Okay, they're dead. Let's take this. We can let's probably assault it, but like, I don't know. They still have a pretty, you know, comparable sized army to mine. 
how my other daughter grew up. The one with she's had cancer her entire life, and sometimes she's somehow she's made it to age sixteen. What a trooper. Uh, yeah, get married. Live a little, you know? You don't have a lot of time, I bet, so... Unless you're also just one of those random immortals that are popping up. Uh, yeah, get married. Um, my grandson, Nicholas. Yeah, you do need an education. Um, strong? I think it... Yeah, struggle. That sounds good. Although, normally I've been going for stewardship recently, but he's just... It seems natural that he would go for Marshall. Plus, he's named after those, you know, those ancient ancestors of mine. And that would have been when we started the game. And we're definitely going Marshall, because that's what I used to just always do. Um, people don't like taxes. What else is new? Yeah, let's maybe uh, speed this up. Or maybe... I don't know where their army is, so I don't want to... I don't know. Just speed it up to speed five. I guess that'll that's good enough. Although it, mm, I don't know. I don't. Want, well, you know what? I can assault because who? You know, if I if I get not enough troops, um, you know, like if I lose too many, I can always just hire some mercenaries. So let's let's just do this. As long as we have times ten, obviously. If we don't, I'm not gonna do that. That's a little close. I might I might not do that one. Um Do we want legalism? Yeah. Pretty sure there's something we needed legalism for. Maybe. Maybe that was a waste. I don't know. We'll get back to that one. Actually, you know what? We probably want to take all these before they even have a chance to come over here and just not mess with their army at all. Oh shit, the Red Death is here? Fuck, it is spreading so fast. It was like cut off here a second ago, and now it's already made it to the coast. This is not good. I think this is really going to fuck up our plans here. Uh, yeah, assault the rest of that. And, yeah, let's not... I'm not leading army or anything here, right? My vassal, my vassal, yeah. Not me. Good. My daughter arrived in my court. Your husband die? From, oh, yeah, from the Red Death. Okay. Um, and you have cancer. What is with cancer in all the young daughters of mine? Hmm. Uh, yeah, you need to get married. Maybe, maybe, uh, Old Dominion? Or actually, maybe, you know what, I, I don't care. We'll, we'll get back to that. Um, have I taken all that? Next one, I guess? Sudden clat- oh, f Sudden clatter sends you running to check on food supplies. You arrive at the storeroom just in time to see Princess Melody emerge, wiping her mouth. You fucking whore! You- I let you into my court, which wasn't even a decision of mine, by the way. Shouldn't I have had the choice of whether to let someone in who was just, like... His, her husband died of the Red Death. If it was me, I don't think I'd let her in. I mean, she's my daughter, but... You know... She's also a pig, apparently. She's a glutton. Yeah, great. You're, you're gonna cost all of us. How could you do this? Remaining minus one. Let them rot in the dungeon. Remaining minus one. You outstayed your welcome... Get the fuck out of here. And, uh... Food minus one. Or looks like meat's back on the menu, boys. In which case, she dies. Uh, remaining food plus one. And I become a cannibal. Which means everyone hates me minus one. But my marshal goes up a lot. And my personal combat goes up. And any other cannibals like me. Um... How does everybody feel about me currently? Let's check vassals. I think they basically all love me. Yeah, I mean, there are a few that don't. Uh, Duke of New Maryland. Why? Too many held duchies. Desires Kingdom of Columbia. Want seat on council. That's the big one. I think that's the big one with, like, all of the, uh... All these down here that really dislike me. Yeah, they're powerful vassals and they don't have a seat on the council. So, a ne another negative ten would probably not be good. Oh, yeah, there's some factions going on. 
But we're pretty low on food. Hmm. It's a tough choice. Do I eat my daughter? She did steal food. On the other hand, people wouldn't like me if I ate my daughter. Hmm. It's only minus 10, though. It's only minus 10. But it's only one food. Hmm. Well, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to do it. But I am going to kick her out. Because she deserves it. She's still going to die. Probably. You know, from either slow fever or red death. Uh, but I'm not going to eat her. Do I want her to marry this uh, small child? 14. Yeah, like half her age almost. I guess not quite, but... Uh, who... I don't see any reason I should marry. Have them marry. Um, at all. I don't understand this. It might give me a... Uh, an alliance with these random horse lords down here. I, no. Plus, you might take good care of her or something. If, you know, if she was married. I don't want that. I want her to be alone and dead for what she's done. Which which was eat. Uh, that's a lot. Let's, uh, let's try and siege down this one first. The alliance between Emperor Gerald and King Diberius is broken down. Be oh, man. Because my half-sister died of, uh, Thrax. Well, you know what? I've got another sister. Yeah. Um. <laughs> okay. For some reason, just it's just my mind, I guess. I read Princess Melody is sick. I read that as Princess Melody is a bitch. But, uh, no. She's sick. I guess cancer? Yeah, cancer. Uh, she's the only one I got. You sure? How much do you like me? Oh, you don't actually like me that much. Well, we can solve that. There's some money. Um, that's about it. Let's try again. Still no. Mm. Well, that's fine. I mean, your your kid is still... Yeah, this will still work. Although, wait, we need this guy married to someone related to us. Let's uh, let's set that up. Raphael is not at war. Excuse me. Oh, wait a minute. The guy who's rebelling against my cousin Tiberius is his son. Why? To increase council power. What kind of madman are you? You're going to take over the kingdom when your father dies. Why would you want increased council power? That's going to be bad for you. And I can't get I can't get married his uh, son married to someone in my family because uh, I'm at war with them. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, and, and so our alliance is gone. Yeah, that sucks. Uh, all right. Uh, okay. All right. Wow, a lot of people are dying. Oh yeah, people are they're dropping. West coast ravaged by plague. Yeah, I think fucking everywhere is ravaged by plague. Both coasts. Uh, but okay. When Thrax first spread up the great central valley of California, many sought refuge in the temples. Now temples set steps across the region are stained red with the blood of the dead. And monks are tasked with burning their bodies, even if it means they too succumb. When will it end? Oh, there's some more. Yep, wow, that's, uh, that's not good. But none of the islands have it yet. Just, just slow fever, you know, the old standby. Uh, my daughter died. Mm. Not from cancer, though. From the Red Death. So she beat cancer, kind of. Isn't that, can, I guess that would... Oh, we're getting uh, attrition there. Yeah, get the fuck out of there. Would that be considered beating cancer? Because think about it. If you have cancer and then you die from something other than cancer, normally that's a victory, right? Because in real life it means, you know, like... 
It would normally mean you lived for long enough that you catch something else, or that, you know, something else bad happens to you. And that's what she did. She lived until she was 20, and then she got the Red Death. That's, that's a victory, right? Um, my man in black, the king of Antilles, married my daughter. Actually, yeah, that sounds like a pretty good idea. I mean, watch out with this one. She's a pig, and, uh, you know, honestly, I, I wouldn't... I wouldn't marry her, but, uh, if, you know, go for it. Sure. She likes me, <laughs> even though I kicked her out. That's kind of funny. I guess she's back in my court now. He's depressed. She has cancer. It sounds like a great match. Uh, we lost a lot of troops from that attrition. Like, way too many. But that's the Red Coat Revolt, and they don't have that many. So that might not be a problem. Um... Yeah, don't care about this woman. She has a pet rat. She befriended in the dungeon. Oh, she's slow. She's also Neo Mayan. I mean, what a. Okay. And I, was I educating her in prison? What is going on with these? Your clear eyed long term planning is paying off. 50 gold. Good things come to he who waits. Hmm. Alright, nice. Uh. What happened here? Oh, these are two separate things. Tiberius inherited something because this guy died of, uh... Died in the dungeons. He had the Red Death, but that's not how he died. Interesting. Oh, and that's... Oh. Oh. Oh, this is a fucked up war going on right here. So... This is the grandson of Tiberius, which means this is the nephew of the of this guy, so, who's my nephew. Mm, so that was my nephew's nephew. But yeah, so this this man revolted against his father, and in doing so has now killed his nephew, and for no reason, right? He's fucking himself over doing this, uh, while all of his family members die from the Red Death. Yeah. Yeah, um... Oh, and his wife, too. No, she died in childbirth. But she had the Red Death. Jeez. Yeah, this is messed up. This this is a bloody time for this family. And this guy's an asshole. Uh, burglar? Be less nosy. I don't, I don't really care about you, but it gave me prestige. Yeah, this, this Red Death is, is no joke. This could actually complicate things. Oh, man. Red Death. Yeah. We're still safe, though. Comparatively. Um, How much food do we have? Does it actually tell me anywhere? I think we're down to, like, three or something, if I've been keeping track well. I'm not sure. I've still got gout. Could I try and, uh... I've still got successful treatment, too, though. So I guess I'll just leave that... Let that be. And yeah, I guess this is a good place to cut it for now. While Red Death is, is destroying everyone. Um, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't... doesn't You know, hinder our plans too much. But yeah, this war's going fairly well. Are these the Red Coats? Oh, they are. They're going to Washington. Do I want to finish the siege, or do I want to just go after them? I'd be getting attrition there. I'm getting attrition here, too, though. Oh, shit. And so are they. Because of the Red Death. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. And it's that's probably... Yep. Yep. Can't avoid that one. Alright. <laughs> Measles, too. Uh, I guess... Yeah. Yeah. Alright. So next time, I'll, I'll, I'll figure that one out. I'll probably just uh, keep, keep sieging this. Although, he's probably going to try and unsiege that. Could I go there without... Oh, I could go there without um, having attrition. So I'll just wait for him to go there. Then I'll attack him, and that'll be good. Yeah. Okay. That's not all he has left, is it? No, he's still got plenty left. He just made the mistake of uh, splitting it up. I also very much like that he's severely injured. Uh, I guess he, let, he lost his hand and his leg. <laughs> Ooh. But yeah, uh, that's good. He's severely injured. If he could die, it would end this... Well, no. It might be a bad thing. 
I would like... Hmm. You should lose this war, then die. That would be that would be the best, I think. But yeah. Alright. Yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.